pandemic construction never really shut down in the state of Florida. And uh, if you look at the Tampa skyline, you're almost always going to see cranes as part of the geography there. Oh, that's so true. Our consumer reporter, Sir Bonnie Banerjee, takes a look at what this means for our economy. To figure out the health of the local economy, you can study economic data and trade publications. But why look it up when you could simply look up? The state bird of Florida, and for sure Tampa, is the tower crane. But we go beyond the tower crane and talk about the smaller construction projects. I'm seeing upwards of 10,000 construction projects currently active in the Tampa Bay area. Consider the crane index. Construction consulting firm Ryder Levitt Bucknell uses cranes as a financial indicator, like consumer confidence polls or housing starts. They developed their RLB crane index in 2015 as a tool for clients to assess hiring trends and urban activity in 13 major North American cities to provide a snapshot of the country's growth. Tampa isn't on that index yet, but local contractors say each crane on our skyline represents a slew of job opportunities. It's exponential. So every tower crane has one general contractor that, that may have 10 or 15 people working on it at that general contracting firm, but there are also 20 plus subcontractor firms that may have 10 people, so there's another 200 people. Um, you have materials being shipped from all over and you have those material producers. Economists often look to the number of new buildings going up in a city as an indication of growth. Multiple cranes are a good sign that the city is putting up a lot of structures at once and there's enough money, resources, and jobs to make that happen. The tower crane is, is really a mark of how good and how strong your economy is. Uh, look around. We, we see a new tower crane popping up once a month on Bayshore, Tampa General, downtown, uh, Channel Side. I think it's a phenomenal sign that the market in Tampa is going to be strong for for you know, a year, if not two years, for sure. Sorbani Banerjee, Fox 13 News.